Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And I decided I'm going to do some more work on the new section of my store. If you didn't see my last video, I expanded my store. And now I'm going to finish off that section and put some merchandise in. We're a little slow loading here. We've got people stuck in the pavement. If that's okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to check for updates real quick. I didn't do that this week. And no, I didn't didn't really expect there would be. It's still back at the Valentine's Day. It's, uh, it's kind of been abandoned by the developer, but that's okay. It's still fun to play, right? So let's go ahead. We're going to run inside. And we're going to go back to the new section. And take a look at it. Sorry, little kiddo. Don't want to run you over. So if you don't remember... I didn't see the last video. This is where I expanded. Behind my store, I used to use this section for whenever they'd add new types of walls or flooring or windows or anything like that. I'd test it out back here. But since we've not had any new updates in such a long time, I decided to just go ahead and expand my store into it. So we've got this here. I did this part in my last video made it into storage because you can always use more storage now this section here i'm going to expand the um, kind of sporting equipment and goods looks like i need to do a little sh uh, restocking here so i'm going to go ahead and go into the box looking thing up there at the top and i'm going to buy some stuff we're out of hats. You can see that big red zero. Let's buy 20 hats. That's up on the top floor, but uh, we're out of a lot of stuff, actually. Some electronics. Let me find... So small appliances are going to be down here. I'm going to go ahead and buy five of those. Kitchenware, we'll buy 20. Vacuum cleaners, we'll buy five. School supplies, that's up on the top floor, too. It is back to school time, though, right? Small furniture that's up on the top floor. Get five of those. All right, exercise equipment. We're going to go ahead and buy five. Game tables. We'll go ahead and buy five. Personal transport. So it's like bikes and things. Go ahead and buy five. Jewelry. Okay, and then I don't do the guns and ammo. All right, so that'll slowly get restocked. My uh, delivery driver will go get it, bring it back. What I want to do, in the last video, I put in roof. But I'm going to go ahead and put in flooring. So we've got this wood floor here. I'm just going to expand that. I believe I took down the walls on this side. No, I left the walls here. Okay. So we're going to go into tools up at the top. First little symbol is flooring. Go into the wood. So we've got different woods. That would be like a uh, herringbone pattern. That's the regular flat wood. And then that one, hmm, not really sure. So I believe that's the one I want. I can. Uh, get me back there first scroll back and if this is the wrong one it's hard to tell sometimes the detail is not always that clear if this is the wrong one I can just delete it and get the right one let's go ahead and put that down and yeah that looks right so I'm going to fill in the floor 80 bucks a pop Gotta watch my money. Now that I'm restocking, uh, it should start to, um, you know, the more stock you have, you gotta spend money to make money, I guess. You gotta buy this the stock, and then people can buy it and you get your money back plus some. All right, so I'm gonna do the whole floor. 
It's being a little slow, responding kind of slow. And as I mentioned in my last video, oops, you used to be able to drag, kind of drag your screen and uh, fill large sections at once, but I couldn't make that work last time. And it doesn't look like it's going to work this time either. Yeah. So I have to do each one individually. So I going to put you guys on pause. I'm sure you don't want to watch me put down every single square. And as much as I like the sound of my own voice, there's no point in just talking to you guys while I fill this whole thing with a bunch of trivial stuff. So I've got that much to go. I'm going to go ahead and fill that out. And I'll be back in a second. All right. All right, welcome back. I got the floor done, as you can see. I'm going to worry about the ceiling later. I probably will expand the second floor um, over this area. So I'm going to want to put down some kind of floor tile as my roof instead of a roofing tile, because if I put a roofing tile, then build the second floor, like put walls and stuff around it. Nobody will walk on it. You can see this here. You just use these arrows on the right hand side to move up and down between floors. Let's put a ceiling on. So I would do, I think that's a concrete. What's this? Oh, the mosaic. Dirt. Concrete. So if I did concrete for my second floor, then people could walk on it as opposed to a roofing tile that nobody will walk on. All right, but I'm going to do that later. I want to start moving stuff around and I want to be really intentional about it. I want to make sections that make sense. I do have this elevator here that kind of blocks this section over here. So I need to be thoughtful and careful about that. So let's go back into the store. I'm going to take a look at what we've got. So we've got bikes. We've got um, scooters or whatever those are. We've got hoverboards. We have the tables, the different game tables. We've got exercise equipment. All right. So we need to be mindful about that. And I may go ahead and get rid of these walls here. At the time, I didn't think I would because it seemed weird to have an elevator just sitting in the middle of the wall or in the middle of an empty space. So the wall made it feel anchored, but it also blocks people's view from being able to get in here. So I may change that. Let's go ahead and look above. Build. Yeah, I think I am going to go ahead and get rid of those. So to get rid of the walls, the little red trash can tap the wall, tap the wall, tap the wall, and tap the wall. Now we do still have the elevator sitting right in the middle, but that's all right. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Now, in order to move things, I believe I'm going to want, we won't want to block the doors to the storage. So I'm going to move I'm going to do the tables, I think, over in this section, the game tables. And there are four different ones, as you can see here. So in order to move it, I'm going to turn around so the uh, plant's not in the way because I'll end up moving a plant. I'm going to hit those four arrows down in the right-hand corner there. And I'm going to drag that table right back there. Right, you can see it moved. I'm gonna move this one, drag it, try and move over one more. And then I have to be careful of the arrows, what direction people will approach that table from. And that is kind of close to the door. Let's see if I can move it over one more. I couldn't tell really. There we go. That should be all right with the other table. 
right, let's scroll back. This one, it doesn't really matter what order these tables are in. They don't have to be exactly how they were before. That's too far. Back one more. Go ahead and put it there. Now it wants me to move the plant, see? Turn one all this way. Right there. All right. So there we have the tables. Let's go ahead and take a look at it from ground level, so to speak. So yeah, people can get to them around the four sides. Yep, looks good. All right. So then. Let's go ahead and move these shelves with the bike and when there's a skateboards too. So let's do let's do them this way. And again, these plants are going to be in the way. The plants are tiny. And they're really easy to accidentally move instead of a shelf. So we're just going to angle the screen. And I'm using both fingers to drag that. Just zoom in. Put that there. I'm going to spin that so it's next to the back. Spun it again, so we just turn it around. We want those green arrows to point the way um, people are going to approach it. There we go, right next to. And and just get a look at it this way. So you can fit one more if I move. Let's do the hoverboard, whatever that is. Spin it, spin it, spin it. Let's put that there. And then what I'm going to do with the bikes, I'm going to do the bikes in front. Spin it. Let's try it there. And another thing I'm going to do, or you can see, even though I'm spending, I spent money to put that floor down, you can see my, my uh, cash in hand has jumped up because uh, I have stuff to sell. Now I'm going to add a, another shelf, and I think I'm going to put two bikes there. Bikes are a nice big ticket item. So I'm going to go to shelving, and I want this kind of shelving. Spin it. Spin it, do it back to back with that one. There we go. And then I need to assign product to it. So we're going to do that stock shelves. And you can see it says empty. So we're going to scroll through this menu at the bottom until we find bicycles. Probably towards the end, because it's a big ticket item. Bicycles, bicycles, everything but bicycles. There's the exercise equipment, the tables. All right, there we are, bicycles. I'm going to tap on that. It should become bikes. The game's just slow reacting. Turned green, so it should say bikes. Come on. There we go. Just being slow. Just had to tap a couple times. All right, so we've got bikes there. So let's go ahead and take a look at that again. Oh, look at that. I'm right in the shelf. I'm probably trapped in there. So let's go ahead and go in. Sometimes that happens. 
It'll, it, oh no, okay, because there's no bikes there, so I'm good. All right, so let's buy some bikes because we probably don't have any. We have enough to stock it. So we're going to go back down to personal transport, which you can see is bikes, scooters, etc. And we're going to buy five more. And while I'm in here, let's just buy some brass instruments. Five of those, some string instruments. We're out of school supplies again. It is back to school season here in the northern hemisphere. We're out of vacuum cleaners again. Small appliances. Video games. We're going to buy 20. Electronics, we'll buy 20. Z Electronics, we don't want 20 because they're expensive. Vegetables, we're going to buy 100 vegetables. 50 baked goods. Candy, we'll buy 100 candy. Toys, that's why we're making money because we're selling all our stuff. All right. So that should stock up in a couple of minutes. Let's pick up the trash. Clean that up. Alright. Now, exercise equipment. We're going to go ahead and move that back into this section here. Just kind of across here. So we'll go back into tools, scroll to where I can see them. Right. Okay. I'm actually going to rotate it, change it again so the arrows will let the customer get to it. That one. All right, and should be able to move. That's weird. Okay, there we go. Wouldn't let me place it. Okay, so we have those. And last but not least, this one we will spin that one that way. This one. Okay, it's trying to move the plant. So I think that's a little close to the bikes. So I'm going to go ahead and move it up. So it's lined up with that one. And that probably means I need to move that one. Line that up right there. Okay. So now we do have a big empty section. Whoops, where I just moved the stuff from. From where I just moved the stuff, whatever is the correct grammar. We've got room here behind the elevator to the left and then to the right of the elevator. One thing I know we can do, we can move that fountain more room. That, whoops, we don't want to move the escalator. Move the bench under the escalator. Let's see if we can zoom in a little more to be more accurate. Can't move this. I don't want to move that. I want to move this. Keep trying until we get the right angle on it. You may not be able to move that bench because it just doesn't want to let me not highlight the escalator, which you can't move. All right, we'll leave that bench there. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for today. I'm going to 
think about, I'm probably going to expand the electronics over here into this section. And we'll see what I want to do over here. Might expand the kitchen product, something like that. Take a look, but that's my new exercise, my new sporting goods, I don't know what you call it, section. There we go. I'll add decoration in. That uh, takes up a lot of space and it gets you a lot of cool points if you um, go into the tools again. These four things along the right hand side here. You can check your decoration. You can see the section that the stuff was in before because of all the plants. It's very decorated and because of that fountain. Back here you can see the floor is red because it's not so much decorated. You can check your safety. I don't have any cameras or anything back there. So that'll need other, oh, he just filled in the bikes. So that'll need some work. We can all worry about that next time. But there we go. There's some more changes coming. I thank you for joining me. I hope you learned something or enjoyed watching what I did. And uh, I will see you all later. Bye.